What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Spirit Board Sunday. Today we got something, well, I was going to say different, but no, we're still fighting spirits. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at all the DLC legend spirits. So we're going to be doing six different fights. So it's kind of like a, in a way, how to defeat the legend spirits DLC fights something other more words yeah 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 so this should be kind of fun six of them so far and there's still five more to come which is uh that, that's crazy but um we can do this so uh this one is a bit tough because you have well you got joker you got to fight and then you got another what five after that so you got six characters to deal with in this match so um let me uh let me quickly whip up a uh, spirit uh Spirit uh, set, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, so we got our spirit set for this first fight. It is the uh, the uh, the Phantom Thieves, whatever the Joker legendary spirit is. So going with Medusa, you could do it. I prefer Medusa because she gives you two extra support slots. So um, since you're fighting many opponents in this one, I also equipped Auto Heal, the Meloetta spirit you can see, which will heal you about 3% damage every five seconds. So it's pretty good. And then the key, remember to throw weakened minions on to this uh, to really help out the fight. So uh, Medusa, you will start giant. And since the weakened minions is on, well, y you'll see. It's, it's going to be pretty self-explanatory. So, yeah, we got that. Oh, if I could, <laughs> if I could hit the, if I could hit the attack. Okay, trust me, this works better if I actually hit the attack. Okay, well, we're about to lose. Okay, we lost Giant. Okay, never mind. But look, Weakened Minions, that is the key right here. You, oh, early. There we go. But Weakened Minions makes this fight so much easier. So I guess, you know, the Giant doesn't necessarily... If you can take advantage of the Giant part, oh, you'll be sitting so much better. But uh, in this case, make sure you have Weakened Minions on and you're good to go. The only thing that's going to be difficult for you... Or the only thing that will be a bit challenging is will be once Joker gets out. Because look at this. It's like one attack... Oh, let's go. Oh, I didn't want to use this on you. Okay, fine. We'll just waste it anyway. That's fine. Whatever. No big deal. No big deal. Nope. Missed it. Oh, hold on. Hello. There. Wow, you blocked that. Okay, hold on. Don't worry. Don't worry. There we go. Now, I think, is it down to Joker now? Is it Joker? Yep, there we go. So Joker, I believe, is the main fighter. Obviously, the, uh, the weakened minions will not take effect against this guy. But uh, ch check out the uh, the healing. The healing. I, I'm what? Only at 17%. Took out the other five characters. No problem. Weakened minion. It's the absolute way to go. Oh, yeah. Here we go. You got a final smash? I got whatever this thing is. I never remember the name of this item. Look at that. The Phantom Thieves, whatever the name of this legendary spirit is. Yeah, there you go. Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Boom. Easy. Done. There goes the first legend spirit fight. On to the second one. All right. Up next, we got the Dragon Quest, the Heroes comrades legendary spirit fight now this one can be extremely difficult this is the one that i was thinking of where you're really going to need to save your uh hp because this one is a stamina battle so uh here's my little spirit setup that i was able to come up with don b and hickory you got to go with this one because you start with additional um stamina you ha will have more hp than normal which is good then that's where the meloetta one is going to come into a uh, factor auto heal you're going to need to conserve and save and build up HP throughout this entire fight. And then because Dobby and Hickory, they, they have three slots, I ended up throwing on a pretty basic uh, physical attack spirit because, like, well, K. Rule and he's pretty physical. And again, keep in mind, please use the weakened minions to make this fight so much more easier for yourself. So this fight should be pretty simple with this uh, nice, little, nice little setup we have. The trick, the trick will be, do not overdo it. Okay, there we go. Do not overdo it with attacks because you just you, you want to pace yourself. Oh, he ain't coming back from that. Nope. Goodbye. There goes one. All right, one, one down. Now, see, that's also a thing uh, about this fight. You will get multiple opponents at once, which is okay. You got the weakened minions on. Um, is weakened minions even doing it? Yeah. I don't know. Hold on. Um. I might have to test that. I don't know if Weakened Minions is doing anything. You see Zelda just heal herself? Get out of here, please. But uh, again, the main idea, build up stamina. 
Do not, okay, we're on, damn it. There we go, there we go. But save your stamina, build it up, because once you get to that last opponent, that's where the that's where the uh, the actual the uh, the tricky part of this spirit fight comes into battle or in, into play I should say not into battle because well they do come into battle but uh, uh oh oh Sheik's got a sword okay that's fine no big deal no big deal we got this stay down there nope okay. stomach there we go and uh, you, uh, there's no you don't really need to use any specific carrot excuse me I hit I hit that and you know it come here nope. Uh, ouch. That's okay. Like, look at this. We're at 137. We just healed again. We normally we would start with 120, but since, uh, oh, look at that. We even healed right there. I don't know if that item is supposed to ha always appear right there or not. But, uh, if, if it doesn't, I was just lucky. Oh, we got a zero suit sims and we got the, oh, okay. See, here's the, 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 the good thing is here. We can actually, oh, okay. There goes DDD. No problem. Zero Suit Samus, he, okay, I don't know what, the weakened minions is really weakening their minds. Now look at this, we're down to the last, wait, 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 is this the last fight? Is uh, is Ike the last part, I think Ike's the last part of this, if I remember correctly. Ah, whatever, might as well use the final smash, we saved it for him after all. Saved it for him, there we go. Uh, not a lot of damage, that's fine, no big deal, we got it off though, isn't that, that's what's important. Okay, oh, that's right, Ike got buffed recently too. Gotta watch out for that up special. I can KO, but not not at the percentage we're at. Nope, nope, nope. Yep, we're fine. Oh, beat him too. That was gonna be big damage. Yeah, that weakened minions definitely was playing a factor, because you could tell just by uh, how how weak these attacks that I'm doing. They're, they're not they're not doing a ton of damage, but uh, we kept ourselves in it with uh, by kind of uh, keeping our uh, HP at a pretty manageable spot. Ooh, there we go. Now we're just gonna. Continue throwing out some projectiles. Get him off his game a little bit. There we go. See, because he's... Uh, oh, that would have been big for him. There. I think I'm one dash attack away from winning this. Or a forward tilt. There we go. Two fights. Two wins. Making it easy. All right. Third spirit is going to be Gruntilda. Now, this one is actually very tricky if you don't know a decent spirit setup for this one. But don't worry. I got you. So, Gruntilda... Uh, the main problem with this fight is the po the floor is poisonous during this entire fight. So uh, for my primary, I went with Baby Mario. Yes, this one is an enhanced version, so you do have to enhance a uh, some I forget the one, but uh, Baby Mario basically first strike. Uh, I guess you know you're invincible for a little bit, but uh, the main one you need poison heals. That way, you're, I mean throughout the entire fight. You don't have to worry about the poison. It's it like counteracts it. it. It makes it even better. Uh, and then if you really want, throw a 50% on just because. And to be honest, you probably don't even need the 50%. Uh, you do got four enemies to deal with. So it could be a, a bit tricky because it is a stamina battle again. But keep in mind, remember, you will be healing yourself this whole time. You'll be healing yourself. You got that first strike ability. Look at this. Everything's working out fantastic. There we go. There we go. Look at it. We take damage, but then the second we take damage, we're just healing ourselves. This is this is perfect. Like this is the greatest. This is the best spirit for this fight. Oh man, that was almost big damage. But uh, like, look at that. Look at that. We've taken some damage so far, but uh, we're doing okay. Cause we're just healing. We're healing. We're healing, and then we're just gonna kind of start throwing out some projectiles here. Start do uh, start doing a little bit of damage ourselves. There we go. There we go. Let's continue to heal it up. Heal it up. This fight's no issue whatsoever. Oh, there we go. Get a little neutral going in there. Going to continue with the uh, the barrage of uh, projectiles. And I think that can help as well. Oh, that'd be nice to have. That'd be nice to have. Can we, can we grab it? Can we? Nope, not yet. Hold on. I, I actually kind of want that. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got it. All right. So now. Oh, and then I missed. Oh, no. He's, oh, thank God for hitboxes. Thank goodness for hitboxes. There we go. Big damage, big knockback. Maybe, maybe no, not not even close to enough for a KO. We're almost there though. We've we're, look at that. We healed back to full health, and he's down to 0. 0.8. He's down to 0. 0.8. Big big neutral air here coming, and uh, if I can, big neutral air. There we go. Big stomach, and we got the win. We finished with still 83%. How much did we heal through that whole battle? Easy. Now another one. You could use a Gruntilda spirit to defeat the Gruntilda, but that kind of defeats the purpose if you're trying to 
get your first Gruntilda, so yeah, well, it is what it is. Anyway, use the Madam Butterfly, it's perfect for this fight. All right, uh, spirit number four, we have Geese Howard. Now this one is actually a bit tricky as well, but uh, the main thing to remember, it's a stamina fight, so weaken his stamina as much as possible, right? So the way I'm going, I'm going back with the baby Mario. Get that first hit, make yourself invincible, and then rack up as much damage as you can while you're invincible. That's the first key for this fight. And then uh, for me, I just went special power because I got some projectiles I'm going to play with. Uh, physical in case I need to get up close or whatever. I'm going to start with a bob -omb because, again, we're going to go ahead and throw that 50% damage on on this guy. That way, again, less stamina for him. And if we can hit that bob -omb immediately on that first try... Oh, check out where his HP is going to be at. All right, so check this out. Yes, we got to keep in mind. Let's go. I missed the bob -omb. Great. Perfect. No big deal, though. No big deal. We're fine. Yes, uh, the one key to this is, uh, well, um, a major thing to this fight is reduce jump power. So do not, do, do not go off stage. All right, do not go off stage. You will. There we go. Nice. If you could get him off stage. Uh-oh. And he likes that. He likes that. See? Oh. Excuse you. Oh, this is going to be terrible? Nope, we're fine. We're fine. Nope. Why does that look like Link a little bit? Why does that... Why does the me look like Link a bit? Is, is that weird? Is that just me? Oh, man. Hold on. Ugh. Get off me. Get... Okay. He, lo he loves his throws. That was... They told us he loves his throws. But that's okay. See? We, we almost got this. A couple projectiles, and this is going to be done. Easy. Another first try attempt. Just get out to a fast start. That's all you got to do. And then just stay on him. That 50% came in clutch, obviously. I missed the bob -omb, unfortunately, but that would have been pretty big as well. But there you go. P pretty simple. Pretty simple setup, yeah. All right, up next is Sothis from Fire Emblem Three Houses. This one is, uh, it, it's not, there's not really a trick to this one. It's just kind of watch out for the final smash that they get immediately and then uh, just rack up damage. So going with a good old 50% again. Here's something that I use for a lot of fights. Again, I love ba the Baby Mario one because it's simple first strike advantage. And then uh, just kind of increasing everything, physical attack, air attack, and special attack. So this one, uh, it, this one's not really that difficult at all. There's not really a trick to this. Uh, yes, they will heal at uh, once they get high enough in damage. I forget what that is, but got the final smash. No big deal though. Let's get rid of you. Probably healing any second. There we go. That's fine. No big deal. We haven't even taken a lick of damage. Oh, you're about to activate that final smash, though. I can tell. No, I jumped. I was anticipating it, but that's okay. That's fine. No big deal. We'll survive this. They hit hit us at such low percent that that, ain't, that, that final smash was kind of like, in a way, that was kind of wasted. Didn't do nothing. But we got this. Uh, come here. Oh, that's right. You get a second one. You get a second one. No big deal. We're still at low percentage. Um, you were just facing the other way. How did that hit me? Were they not just facing to the left? Again, low damage. Come here. Oh, ouch. No big deal. We got this fight in the bag still. This, again, this one's not, there's nothing tricky to this fight. It's just, all right, yeah, they might heal themselves for big, uh, big, uh, percentage points, but that's okay. Oh, I was going to try to dodge that, but... I guess uh, I'd have to actually press the dodge button. But yeah, this one, this fight is just mainly... Come here! Yeah, do a little style. A little stylish on them. Let's go, let's go. See, there's really nothing to that fight. Yeah, they heal themselves, but... Just stay aggressive and stay on the offensive, and uh, you'll do enough damage, and you'll get the KO eventually. And last but not least is the brand new Max Brass Legendary Spirit. And uh, for this one, I ended up going with the Black... Knight primary spirit that gives you armor knight which makes it mo much more difficult for yourself to be launched or flinched and then we're starting giant as well because you got two support spirits so giant you're just going to get up close impersonal just beat the holy crap out of them just there you go 50 percent as well this fight is still i think this one is one of the more challenging legend spirit fights I think uh, the hero one might be the most challenging, but uh, there we go. Nice little start. Excellent. We're giant. Oh, if we could have. Oh, if I could have spiked, that would be great. Okay. No, we're fine. We'll come back. No big deal. There we go. Coming through. 
Yeah, we got that armor knight. You can't launch us nowhere. There we go, just doing some damage. Yep, that is the key to the second part of the fight. They will become giant, but uh, that's where projectiles come in. And if you got some good runaway game, which is always weird to hear, but if you can run away, do it. And then uh, just fire off some projectiles. And before you know it, this fight will be done. Just like that. You just one-shotted every single legend spirit for the DLC spirits. Not, and plus, Max Brass are pretty cool. Critical Super Giant? I wish that only took like two spots instead of three, but uh, it is what it is. Anyway, that is it. Um, okay, there's Max Brass. But yeah, that is it for this week's Spirit Board Sunday. There's how to easily defeat all Legends DLC spirits for now. Still got five more to come. Anyway, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and hopefully we catch you on the next one. Peace out, buddy.